For the first time since the start of this pandemic, Indiana has reported more than 4,000 COVID cases in a single day. This is a number we have never seen before, 4,457. And you can see here this dotted line, this is the seven day average and we've been climbing significantly since late September. And it's not just an increase in testing. Our positivity rate is now 8.8%. So this means we're seeing more tests coming back positive. So what's driving this trend? Our Rich Van Wyke discovered it's a mix of several problems and it does not bode well for the upcoming holidays. COVID-19 is spreading faster across this state and many others. It is a new record in Indiana every day, almost. Thomas Duszynski, an epidemiologist at the Fairbanks School of Public Health, helped create the city's network of contact tracers. They try to find out how COVID victims became infected and who they might have passed the virus on to. Several of them have been clusters, right? Whether it's weddings or family get-togethers, or meeting at a specific location, whether it be a bar or a restaurant. Not the big events, but the smaller ones, where it's too easy to let down your guard. At my daughter's backyard wedding, we all wore masks until it was picture time. Fortunately, everyone is healthy. What about schools now that kids are back in class? The transmission is not occurring in the school itself, right? Schools, I think, are doing a really good job requiring social distancing, masks, and lots of hand sanitizing. But Dzinski says children are becoming infected while they're out in the community. And then they're bringing disease back, which then requires schools to enforce quarantine and isolation. Thanksgiving is now a major concern. It is just three weeks away. If you're being honest with yourself, this may not be the best time of year to have a big Thanksgiving dinner. The holiday, after all, is about feeling grateful, not feeling sick. How is this spike in cases impacting Indiana schools? Really depends on where you live. Center Grove announced today it is not changing to hybrid learning, but other school districts in Johnson County are. All of Greenwood Community Schools have been meeting in person five days a week since the start of the school year. But the State Health Department has raised Johnson County into the orange level for the spread of COVID-19. That comes with a recommendation for hybrid classes for grades 6 through 12. Greenwood Middle School and High School will have an e-learning day Friday. Starting Monday, students will actually go to school just two days a week. Elementary schools will continue full-time in-person classes. Edinburgh, Franklin, and Indian Creek schools are also changing schedules for middle and high schools. We've got all those details for you on our website tonight. Remember the state has that school dashboard. That way you can track how many cases are in your child's school. So far, there are more than 1,400 schools across Indiana with at least one case of COVID-19. About 450 schools still haven't reported numbers to the state.